Gotta catch them all, Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Playscape Games video. And today, we're so incredibly happy. We've just gotten to 1,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. It's been overwhelming. I did not think when I started the channel in 2017 that we get to a thousand subscribers. I wasn't even intended to get to a thousand subscribers. I was just like putting up some fun videos of things that I was doing in Pokemon and just like, you know, trying to infect people with my joy of this children's card game that we so, 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 so love. So thank you for that. We're going to be doing more cool things um, over the next couple of weeks. I've got a special 1000 subscribers uh, video with some vintage packs slash theme deck things. You'll see it. You'll see it at some point soon, I'm sure. Very excited for that. And yes, we are today super super hyped to be opening an entire booster box of champions path so you can see <laughs> quote unquote booster box i don't remember a turn to speed in this set <laughs> and yeah, we've got 36 packs of champions path i'm like why not let's just let's just see what happens if we get open the booster box worth of packs and we're gonna still we're still looking for that shiny charizard gx and the v max rainbow so yeah let's get straight into it and here is the booster booster box as you can see um yeah ignore ignore that it's definitely a champion's path booster box <laughs> there's definitely grim snow and send the scorch in this set <laughs> uh, disclaimer there is not uh, send scorch eternities or grim snow in this set we're just um having a bit of fun here so we, we thought let's just open an entire quote-unquote booster box of champion's path because like why not we need to get some codes we need to, you know, um, get some packs. We also want to pull the Shiny Charizard GX. And there's some other really cool cards in this set as well. Like most people don't appreciate that there's so much hype around the Charizard, but honestly, there is a lot there is a lot to love about this set. There's there's a lot Rainbow Gardevoir. Oh, okay, we've done the pack trick, Ron. Okay, so we need to we need to make sure we um we need to make sure we do the pack trick a little bit better. There's, there's the Rainbow Gardevoir. I want to pull the Rainbow Gardevoir V Max. It's a beautiful card. I would love to pull the full art hop. Some of those um some of those other rainbow trainers would be would be awesome. I think it must just be four then. Let's try four. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's lots of cool things in here. There isn't um that much in the way of there's the Altaria, which is quite a cool card. Ooh, we got a I love his metal energy. I have to get some of the look, it's like, it's like a mirror for look at that guys. You can see my light reflecting in there. I really, really love these energies. I might end up getting like play sets of those for some of my decks. They're just absolutely beautiful. But yeah, um so the odds of us getting a shiny Charizard GX in one of these packs is probably only about one in four because that someone pulled a whole bunch of them, opened a whole bunch of packs. I think they opened something like 1300 packs, 1200 packs, and they got like 900 shiny Charizard. I'm sorry, 900, that'd be busted. Uh, they got only got um, like, they only got nine shiny Charizard. So we got like, as a roughly, obviously, it's very, it's not the best pack sample size, but it's probably the best. I think it's the most amount of packs I've seen anyone sort of actually open. Like, nobody's like given me like a, you know, an actual like better number than that and i think i see a glimmer of shiny in here guys so hopefully we've got something good uh great ball manama suspicious food tin and yeah it's, it's it's there is a lot more to love about this set oh i saw the rainbow and i was like oh man oh. i'm still happy with a K rainbow kaboo though because it's going to be quite hard to get um, hold of the master set of this because of like the pull rates this so the rainbow rare charizard v max actually shares the same um, slot as these rainbow rares. So if you get a rainbow and it's not, and it's like, what well, it's not a Charizard, then you're like, ah, it could have been, could have been a Charizard. I actually love, look at that wavy pattern in the back. Let's see if we can catch that. Can you see that wavy pattern in the light? Absolutely beautiful. Quality's decent as well. It's got sometimes they have these raised edges that even the light, we might be able to catch on that with the rainbow rares, but uh, definitely, definitely not disappointed with a rainbow kaboo. Someone will want that for their champion's path master set i'm sure i'm sure about it um that everything will be sold i'm sure eventually if any of you guys um see any of the cards in the video that um you like that check out my card market um i think the links and yeah the link should be in the link in the description in the link tree so you'll be able to check out um you know if you want any cards oh nice hollow professor's research it's actually quite a decent set for players it's not obviously We've no. I don't think the last time we actually had a strong holiday set for players was actually Shining Legends because you got the um, had Zorak GX in it and uh, well, this is pretty much a Zor Zorak. <laughs> okay, maybe not. It wasn't the greatest set overall, but <laughs> um, 
Look at the t someone saying they like this card. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose one of them. Shuffle the other cards back into the deck. That's not bad actually. So you can you can actually um, make your top deck better if you use Auron Guru. You can actually um, afterwards after you use Rotom Phone, you can actually choose what you get. Ooh, a nice Gerald on there. So not overly exciting. We talked about it a little bit in the um, in the last video. It could be a nice partner to go with ADP if you don't want to have to reset your attack over and over again. It's got slightly more HP because of the ability, but nothing nothing too overwhelmingly amazing. But um, I can't even remember what we're talking about there. It's going to take us a while to get through this box. So sit back, enjoy the ride. We're going to see if we can pull one of the Charizards. That'll be amazing. Got 36 packs. We got, I wouldn't say decent odds, but... Oh! <laughs> we did it! I can't believe it. We actually did it, guys. Oh my god. I was literally just saying that it wasn't going to happen. And oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Like, I'm just going to flip the screen. Oh my god, we actually pulled the shiny Charizard GX. I'm <laughs> sorry. Let, let's go back in for a closer look. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Like, literally, I was just like saying, oh, <laughs> saying like, oh it's definitely not going to happen from 36 packs. Unfortunately, the... <laughs> To dampen my parade, this um, unfortunately you don't need um, eagle eyes to see that the centering on this is pretty bad. <laughs> I might still send it off to get a PSA nine, but I'm definitely not going to use the. Um, you can so for those that don't know, if you look very carefully, can you see on the left hand side here? See that black line where the border is, and you see on the right side there, the border is um, unfortunately a lot more thicker. So it's de I don't think it's going to get a PSA ten. But a PSA 9, like, people are always going to want this card. It's going to be unique to this set, I think. It's quite hard to get this in the light that we have and, like, like have it look kind of normal. So I'm just getting, like, the constant sparkle. It's just so shiny. And you can see those gold stars, like, on the on the card itself. Oh, my God. Yeah, it doesn't matter about it. Even if it only... It'll probably still get a 9, but, like, you know... I. I, I could try and I mean if someone if honestly send me a message guys I could be tempted to sell this if you just need it for your master set or you're buying the collection or you know you just collect Charizards but oh my god I can't believe <laughs> of my first video as a thousand subscribers we pulled the shiny Charizard GX that's absolutely madness I could I could just like stop recording the video now and end the box but now we have to try and pull the rainbow rare VMAX as well like <laughs> it has to happen it has to in fact you know have a have a code I can't give away too many of these codes because I need to save some for my twitch stream tomorrow twitch.tv forward slash place kit games we're gonna I'm still smiling I'm still got like my, um like we have to save some of these for the twitch stream tomorrow because I want to open some of the new cards and uh, potentially maybe play Waylord V or Gardevoir VMAX. Oh, speaking of Gardevoir VMAX, what the hell, man? <laughs> man, this is just insane. Like, what was that? I'm going to look at the codes. How many codes have we been through? We've only been through seven packs, guys, and we pulled a Rainbow Cabal, a Gardevoir. I'm going to take a close look at this. The lighting's not so good today, unfortunately, because I'm filming at night and I've only got two light sources, but look at that. It, absolutely beautiful and thankfully the centering on this one is slightly better so this guard of one might get a psa 10 for those that don't know guard of War is a very popular pokemon i'm not sure if it's in the top 10 but it's definitely in the top 20 it has a huge fan base um and yeah i it's absolutely beautiful guard of War. i'm so happy to to pull this alongside the shiny charizard gx oh my goodness i i was not expecting the bench to be full this quickly of stuff so i might have to i think i'm going to relegate kabu before i relegate gardevoir to the bench because um because kabu's nice but that gardevoir v is just absolutely beautiful i, I still can't believe it we opened the elite trainer box yes the other day we click the um click the link in the video you see oh nice Grapple lot V. I'm just going to put the regular hits right at the back, just because we got we got to motor through this, and I've just spent three minutes talking about fire, an overpriced fire lizard. So, um, yeah, Kabu. I can't remember what I was going to say yet. I've, it's been a long day. I had to drive to London um, to collect something awesome for for a suit for a video I'm doing soon. I've got a really cool video coming up soon. I've got so many cool videos coming. Up. I, I literally went into a Google into a like a notes file on my on my phone and literally just wrote down every single idea I could think of and. 
I've got content easily for the next three weeks, and that's without like no other pa like no other products coming out. And I'm sure there's going to be a whole bunch more like um, hidden fates. Not hidden fates. Good lord, we've done those hidden fates already. But we might open. We've got two more hidden fates booster packs. We need to open them up for our Poke Post video at some point. Yeah, and Poke Post is still happening every week as well. So we still got still got that to be hyped about. Um, and yeah, it's just. Um, Everything is um, going really well at the moment. The business is going great. I just got to a thousand subscribers on YouTube. And oh, thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you're watching this video and um, you are loving the content, please make sure you leave a comment below. I, I've, my friend, um, she's got a YouTube channel where she does reactions to Doctor Who and she gets like so many comments she's only i'll say only she's got 500 more subscribers than me but the average like view time per person is so high and the amount of comments she gets like for people like talking about um doctor who is just great so please leave a comment below uh, are you excited for champion's puff i haven't seen this guy god yet unfortunately 130 is not good enough for for um four energies which is a real shame because we need we need some good single prize attackers to help deal with eternities and stuff but fun fact uh japan have just released the first details for their i think it's december i'm going to say december for their december their main set it's sword and shield five and it's all focused around urshifu that legendary like fighting bear thing from the isle of armor coming up soon uh isle of, i think it's the isle of armor was it the isle of tundra no yeah the isle of armor isle of tundra yeah yeah so urshifu is uh, like what like the main fighting pokemon from these i think he's a mythical type and he's got two different forms i think it's rapid strike or rapid strike or single strike but anyway they're going to have two different urshifus in the um two two different urshifus in the in the tcg in this set and it's going to be split into two different sets but apparently they got a new mechanic which will be similar might be quite similar to ancient traits so like some kind of like pseudo ability you have one of those cool galarian officer goons that might be quite useful at some point if you're playing the goon deck and uh yeah so that's going to be our japanese december set we might open a booster box of that or one of each of the two boxes because basically it's like every time every four months when there's a new um when there's a new Japanese sort of like main start of a the block. They really they always do two boxes. Obviously, we've got a sword box and a shield box. We've got a sun and a moon box. Ultra, ultra sun, ultra moon. You know what I mean, guys. So, um, the Jap so the the Urshifu set is, is split into two boxes as well. So I'm not sure if we're going to open both of those boxes because I love Japanese products. But the only reason I got so hyped about the Astonishing Vault Tackle, if you click the see one of our most recent videos. The only reason I'm so hyped about that is because um, obviously Pikachu V Max, those pools were absolutely filthy. Those pools are just crazy. Like, we pulled literally the, the fire in the first seven packs. And like, how many have we been through now? Like, <laughs> but I, honestly, it doesn't matter now. Um, I was considering potentially selling these packs, but I thought I just got to a thousand subscribers. I need some more code cards for my for my stream. So, like, why the hell not? Let's just. Let's just go crazy, have some fun, and um, just chat to you guys about, you know, children's card game, like Pokemon cards. Oh, wow. So, a lot of people weren't expecting this. So, this is a straight-up reprint of the Elder Goss Fee from Rebel Clash. So, for those that aren't familiar with the TCG, it's got a really powerful ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may put a supporter card from your discard pile back into your hand. Effectively, that means... If you need to draw some cards and you've got your professor's research in your discard pile, you can just use Elder Goss, put it on the bench, pick it up, and you get to use it from your discard pile. And this is a slightly different artwork to the one that we got in Rebel Clash. So it's nice that they've um, reprinted it and made it sort of like made it like more available, which is quite cool. Um, yeah, that's that's really nice to see. So Elder Goss, don't get me wrong, Elder Goss wasn't expensive because we had all those Darkness Ablaze... Um, what are they called? Those Darkness Ablaze, like, triple blister things. Uh, Two-pack blisters that had Rebel Clash and Darkness Ablaze packs. The Celebration blisters. We opened, we, got, we opened some on this channel before. God, that's like my fourth Sender Scores or something. Imagine those were four Professors or Marnies or something useful. And, um, yeah, so many Elder, Elder Gosses, like, available cheap now. So it's not going to... I don't think the card's ever going to be expensive just because of how many bloody Rebel Clash and now also possibly, like, Champions Path are going to be open. But it's nice that... They, you know, it got it got kind of got a pseudo reprint, and it's more available for people. 
So we've got we're doing quite well so far. I mean, obviously the big boy has been pulled. Um, we want the Rainbow V Max. Um, hopefully, if we pull a ch another Charizard, another Stonks Charizard, so that the quality might be a bit better. But I honestly don't care. It's just amazing to pull it, and um, I might have to change the thumbnail. I already made a thumbnail of the booster box, but I might have to just ch change the thumbnail of me seeing like looking at the Charizard, like you know, like the other YouTubers, the, the big quote unquote big YouTubers, like with the silly face and like oh my god i just pulled the one thousand dollar charizard you know whatever whatever it is i think currently if that was in like really good condition i think you'd, i'd probably get like five six hundred pounds for it if i could, if I could actually find a buyer the problem is like the release date is officially um, oh <laughs> yes so this was actually one of the ones i wanted to pull um so you may think, oh, why does Steve only want to hop? It only draws him three cards. Because in Japan, this was actually a promo artwork, and we haven't actually had the artwork of this hop. We haven't actually had a full art hop in general in English. Um, and Hop has a lot of fans. He's like right there at the beginning of the Sword and Shield video games, um, sort of, you know, cheering you on and asking you to like go and go on adventures and stuff. And yeah, it's um, it's it's yeah, I'm very happy to pull the full art hop. Where was I? I can't even. I don't know. I, I've completely lost my trailer thought now. But um, yeah, we're also going to potentially do a shall I invest? Should I invest in Champions Path video like we did the Darkness of Blaze video? That was very popular. I'm not surprised because obviously there's so many people that you know want to know what should I buy? What should I invest in? You know, like how can I get the best return for my for my investment if I'm trying to actually invest in Pokemon cards? And it's not the quite the answers aren't always obviously obvious um obviously obvious yeah that's that's me fail english that impossible <laughs> and the obvious aren't always the answers aren't always obvious and you can tell it's been a long day and me having to then record like I don't know, however long this video is going to be it's going to be a long one um yeah let's let's try and motor through these um yeah i can't even remember what, but again i've lost my trailer thoughts um this is the, the tier one like high level oh <laughs> wow look at that Back to back Altari focus camera. Have we been unfocused for so long already? Why is okay? I don't know. Maybe it's just struggling to okay. Maybe it's because I'm moving around too much. I don't know. Two Altaria. So yeah, this has got the same ability as the Decidueye, so it stops the um stops the Pokemon from attacking it, the GX and V Pokemon from attacking it, which is really cool. Um Hopefully that the, the cards haven't been out of focus and I've just been so like busy like looking at my packs and stuff that they haven't been out of focus. But yeah, we got these 36 packs from just random um, double and pin collection boxes that we pre-ordered. We we specifically pre-ordered some extra stuff um, to to make sure that we could have like good amounts of packs to open for the YouTube channel and potentially get some code cards early on for the for the Twitch stream, twitch.tv forward slash placegate games. Make sure you click the link if you want to join us when we uh, open open some champions path booster packs online tomorrow and yeah we always want to we always want a good amount of cards basically and um so basically i've, I've i only apart that one elite trainer box we, we got to open one of the champions path elite trainer boxes so was, and that was literally it we have not opened um any more of those and we haven't got any more to open because we've actually sold um the rest to our to our lovely customers yes <laughs> we got the guard of our v full art and now we got the guard of our v max let's see if we can get these both to focus like again the lighting's really suboptimal in here at this time of night so I do apologize something we can improve on together but yeah the guard of our v max 180 damage free energy and you get to heal 50 from it which is really good and the guard of our v itself is quite impressive like um um, not overly for attacking, but the Guard of Obi I like the Guard of Obi Max like as a kind of like tanky kind of Healy deck. I think um, I'm not sure if like it's going to be tier one because it's obviously weak to metal, but it's psychic, psychic, colorless for the attack. So you can just put a weakness guard energy on it, and Zash and V can't one shot it, which is nice, I guess. But I, I'm not. I'm not sure. We'll have to. We'll have to. Um, we'll, have to we'll have to go back to the drawing board for that one. I'm really, really not sure about that. I think we've got another epic pull here. When me removing the code card, I kind of can see a glimmer of shiny on the corners. But uh, yeah, a champion's path mostly is the Charizards, but I love the guard of ours. The guard of our fans will love this set. Um, <laughs> okay, snap. <laughs> Hop to it. I guess you can say I'm a bit hopping mad today. Um, yeah. Can I actually put that one on the same on the same stand as the other one? 
Uh, uh, just about. Just they can both stack on top of each other. <laughs> I honestly don't know the values of the hop, but I imagine like people again. It's not going to be the easiest card to pull, um, considering there is quite a lot of other full arts and rainbows and stuff. And unlike, so people think like with hidden fate that was a sh that's called a shiny vault so those all those cards were like separate from the main rare so all but all of these cards like the hop the guard of wars the charizards they're all only going to be in the rare spot so it's not easy to pull it's not easy to pull the ones you want even if it's only just well, only just i love it i love it it's still a beautiful card the full art hop and it just makes me think of like when i first um you know started the sword and shield video game and we got to you know chase hop around on his adventures and you know he gets to he gets to meet wooloo and all sorts of crazy things happen it's, it's great and also like we've got the um the pin badges as well we might do a video of those at some point you know I'm, what i'm going to do is for the pin badges i might just save them up and just do all the pin badge boxes at the same time just so we can see all the gym badges together and like kind of maybe maybe like display the gym badges together that would be really cool as opposed to like oh this week it's motorstoke turfield and hungry this week it's Bologna, whatever it's called, Bologna, Lily, um, Highbury, um, Eastbourne, whatever the <laughs> Slough, the Slough pin badge. <laughs> Apologies to anyone from Slough. I always just think of like coleslaw, like or, uh, when I hear Slough, like coleslaw, Slough. Yeah, don't worry about it. The Americans are like, just like, what the hell is this guy talking about? <laughs> um, yeah, so. I am thinking Champions Path is a good pack, is a good set to invest in in the long term, simply because obviously the Charizard, the Charizards are in here. But I think there's the you know the Guard of our, the Guard the Guard of our fans love this set. The um, there's, there is quite a few other nice cards here and there, but it's mostly it's mostly the Charizards. I would say. Oh wow! I've been wanting to pull this. I haven't actually seen many people pull the 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 uh, Al Creamy stuff. Because fun fact, the Rainbow Rare Al Creamy. And I think the full art, our creamy V, are actually in the, um, they're actually, I think they've been postponed for, for some reason. They might just be in Vivid Voltage or they might do a special our creamy V Max box at some point. I, I honestly, I honestly don't know what they're doing about with the other our creamy arts. So it's quite, it's slightly more difficult to get, to get, to get these. And the attack was really, really strong. So first for one energy, adornment, so you can search your deck for every one of your bench pokemon and attach a psychic energy to it which is really cool that like, get loads of energies out and then g max whisk which is great because it's like a big cake you know a big massive big cake pokemon and um, you discard as many energy if you want from all of your pokemon you can do 60 damage so it's quite hard to do that in standard but in expanded you could do like max elixirs um you can do Max Elixirs, maybe do Blastoise with it. Probably doesn't need Psychic, Psychic. Uh, Naganadel, that's the one I was thinking of. The, Nag the Naganadel from um, Lost Thunder. There's, it's good. Actually, you know, someone's probably going to make a really good expanded deck with this, and it'll probably start winning the online tournaments. But expanded is quite a fun thing. So for those that don't know, in Pokemon uh, TCG, the tra actual training card game. Yes, I know people actually play cards with these, um, play games with these cards. I, it's crazy to it's crazy to believe that they actually play sometimes play games with these cards. But in the um, trading card game, there is a format. There's two. There's two main formats that we play. So standard format usually only comprises of cards from the past, um, from the past like two to three years roughly. So currently, our standard format is team up onwards. So cards only from team up. So it's actually only about a year and a half at this rate, actually. But we just have a rotation. They they rotate a year of cards out of the standard format every every year so basically that means that it just encourages people to buy more cards new on a regular basis the card pool's not so big that it's hard it's too difficult for people to get colors if there's a really strong deck from for that has cards from like two and a half three years ago it might be quite expensive to try and acquire those cards so they basically just rotate them out after a while and then you get to play in a format if you want to use your um, favorite cards from older sets you can get you can play in a format called expanded so in expanded you can use any card from i think black and white base set onwards so i think that's around like 2011 2012 something like that and um you get so many more combos and crazy things happening and in expanded you could probably use our creamy v max to do all sorts of crazy things i haven't thought about it too much but someone suggested it the other day that expanded might be a good place for to sort of show off our creamy v max so 
yeah, but this booster box is, is going on quite a bit, but um, we've had quite a few epic pulls already, and oh, <laughs> I wasn't actually expecting to pull out Cream EV, let's, let's just admire that for a moment, absolutely gorgeous, look at that, I must say that's a beautiful card, and I love the attack names, Sugary Sprinkles, heal 30 damage from each of your Brent Bench Pokemon, Sweet Splash, if the defending Pokemon is a basic Pokemon, it can't attack, oh wow, so it's actually got very similar effect to the Obstagoon, this is actually, I really like that Sweet Splash, like you can just use it as, you can use this Alcremia as a wall against like Zash and V or any decks like only using um, basic Pokemon to attack with, that's really, I didn't even realise that was, that was, that was its first attack, that's really cool. So I think we're down to like the last two or three packs now, um, obviously the, those first seven packs were absolutely stacked and this last half of the box has been a bit meh. But we're having fun, we've made up, we've made back up the cost of the packs through the Charizard V and uh we get to celebrate and chat to you lovely people because we've just got a thousand subscribers i can't believe it i can't believe it i'm so excited to show you guys grap a lot i'm not excited to show you that it's it's a bit slow but uh, <laughs> um yeah, i'm so excited to show you guys like what we've got for our 1000 subscribers we're also at the same time we're going to be doing our psa giveaway so we're going to be giving away a rainbow blastoise and piplup so you've seen it in at the end of most of our videos the past like however long i've been trying to give that damn thing away for uh it will be i'll probably do it on my twitch stream tomorrow i'll probably do the draw tomorrow on my twitch stream so it's recorded so that way there's no shenanigans people can see that it's done live and it's it's been recorded so um, there's no worries about, you know, any any kind of shenanigans. So we've emptied out our quote-unquote booster box. So there's the there's the booster box, all empty. And uh, here is the last pack, last pack magic. Can we get the rainbow Charizard VMAX to go with the... Um, to go with the Charizard V. Let's, I'll give you guys another code. It's been it's been a lovely stream. It's been awesome to it's been awesome to open this booster box and uh, pull one of the Stonks card, one of them the expensive money cards from the set. Ah, I've got so many. So I've got Poker Pose coming soon. I might I'm going might do the dub might open the double box, the Glarian Surfetch box actually. Oh I don't, well, it's it's a hit I guess still Glarian Curse of the. It's interesting. It's it's like. Every time that your opponent attaches an energy to something, you can just put three damage counters on it, which is quite cool. But only when it's in the active, and the amount of damage it does isn't great. So I'm not overly overly hyped about that. But um, yeah, as you can see, we've got a massive um, stack of bulk here. That's the entire booster box worth of cards we have to sort through at some point. But you're not you don't care about that. You want to see the hits that we got. So we actually got quite a few nice things. Um, 36 packs. I'm quite happy. I'm quite sad I didn't pull the any Waylord Vs because I, st I still need I still need three more for my for my deck. But we got Grappalock, Al Creamy, nice V Max to go with it. Um, God of All V Full Art, which is beautiful. Rainbow Rare Kabo, nice Elder Goss, Grappalot, and God of All V Max. Not one, but two copies of Hop, and of course. The boy, the man, the myth, the legend, the shiny Charizard V card. Absolutely beautiful. Imagine if, like, there are actual tournaments at the moment and people wanted to play Charizard V Max at the tournament. It's like, yeah, I'm just going to put three of these in my deck. <laughs> That'd be so expensive. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to leave a comment. It really does help with the channel if um, people are engaging with the with the comments and it helps more people see it. Please click, click the like button and also hit that subscribe button. We're probably going to do something really good when we get when we get to 2,000 subscribers to so keep supporting the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon, Pokemon fans. Got to catch them all.